Hello everybody, welcome back to another Blender Made Easy tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a flag in Blender. And we're going to be adding a cloth simulation and some pinning uh, for the cloth to make it stick to like a pole or whatever, whatever you're going to be using the flag for. And it's pretty easy actually, so this is going to go by pretty fast. So first thing that we're going to be doing is deleting the cube. Always delete the starting cube. And let's add in a plane. So press Shift A and then plane. Also, I should probably turn on my. I don't have them right here. Never mind, because <laughs> I just updated Blender to 2.7H. Uh, I don't have screencast keys yet. Okay, so we want to make this um, the size of a flag. So press seven on the number pad. So you can go to top view, then press five, and just scale it along the X by pressing S, X, X right there, and then scale it right about where a flag would be. That's probably maybe just a tad bit more. Yeah, that's probably good right there. And so next, let's rotate it. So press X, or no, 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 R, X, then 90 degrees, enter. So now it's on its side, like that. Next, we're going to add in the pole. And you can like model the pole to make it look really good, but all I'm gonna be doing is just adding a cylinder because we're not doing a modeling tutorial, we're doing a flag simulation cloth tutorial. So add in this and then press S and shift Z and if you press shift Z it will constrain it to the X and Y axis only. So it won't be going high because if you're just press S right there it would go up and down and all the sides. But if you press shift Z it will constrain it to just the X and Y axis. So bring it down to about the size of a pole right there. Yeah, and then let's make it bigger. So press S, Z, and scale it up. Right about there. Next, let's go into front view by pressing 1 on the number pad. And let's bring it down to right about there. And I press G to move. Yeah, that's probably good. Yeah, that's fine. Now let's bring everything up. So right click on, or shift right click on the plane. And then you can press G and move them both at the same time. So bring them up using the arrows. Next, let's add in some geometry to this right here. So right click on it to select it, then press tab and go into edit mode. And we wanna make sure it's squares because if um, we don't want it to be, let me just, we don't want it to be like that rectangles. So you see how they're elongated like that? We want it to be squares. So press control R, do two cuts in the middle, then do a couple cuts here till they're squares. Yeah, that's good right there. And then press A to select everything and click W, subdivide, and do this a couple of times till you get a lot of geometry like that. Yeah, I'll probably do it right there. I did it like four or five times. Next, we're going to add in the simulation. So bring this tab out so you can see and click the physics and go down to cloth. And right here, we should we should add in the pinning. And you can do that by going to the vertex groups right here and clicking on the new vertex. And since the, you know, let's go into front view by pressing one. Since this is where it's gonna be, that's where we wanna select, because that's inside the pole. So select all this right there, and then click assign on this new group right here. So now, if we go into uh, weight paint mode, you can see that the red is right there. And once we set it to, if we click pinning, set it to group, now it will, uh, these won't move. It'll just be the rest of this, okay? So that's pretty cool. And you can do that if you're wanting like some drapes or something, you could pin the top and then have some wind blowing, something like that. And I'm gonna be showing you how to add wind in just a second. We want to do a little bit of uh, stuff on here. The mass, you can turn that down to 0.1. And the collision, turn on self-collision because that would be a little weird if it went through itself. That's not really realistic. You turn up the quality on both of these just a little bit. You don't want to go too much because then the baking will take a really long time. Yeah, that's probably good right now. There. Now let's add in the, the wind. So go Shift A, force field. Oh, update, no. <laughs> Shift A, force field, and then wind. And now it's down there. So let's go into front view by pressing one. Then bring it over here, rotate it, and go into the top view. We don't want to have it straight on because that won't look very good. So have it at just a little bit of an angle. 
So when you're in top view, just bring it down this way. And then that should be good right there. And then also bring it up just a little bit. Okay, so I was having a really hard time figuring out this wind, and so I had to look it up. And you have to change the strength to a very high number to get it right. So 2800 was the one that I liked. So let's do that. And you can turn up the noise just a little bit maybe, because that will give it some jittery effect. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and bake it. And we don't want to bake 250 frames. Let's go for like 150. So we can do the same thing here, 150. And doo -doo -doo -doo, click bake. And this is going to take just a couple minutes. So I'll be right back. All right, it's almost done. It's 1% left. There we go. So now let's play it and see how it looks. Alt A is the shortcut, and look at that. That is pretty cool. And let's stop it right there. And as you can see, it's very, uh, it's like that. And let's click smooth, and that will smooth it out. There we go. That's looking pretty good. And also, uh, one thing, flags aren't completely flat. Because if you zoom in right here, it's completely flat. And so what we need to do is add a solidify modifier to this and go to modifiers add modifier solidify and then as you can see it's a little bit better but it's still it's too thick the uh, flag would not be this thick so let's bring it down oh no 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 probably somewhere right there is probably good there we go so now let's go back and play it again that's looking pretty cool and so you can add a texture to this maybe a material whatever you want just play around. You could add maybe an HDR and have this. I have the camera like down here or something. Um, just go like that, and then pause it once it looks cool, and then render that or something. You can make the the pole a little bit bigger. Maybe add a string or something. You know, you know what a flag looks like. So you can do whatever you want and add some cool textures to it. I'm not going to cover that in this tutorial. I just wanted to show you how to create the flag and uh, have it simulate and animate and stuff and I think that's it so if you guys enjoyed uh, leave a like and if you learned something new tell me in the comments down below if, if you made something cool tell me that too I would be totally happy to hear about it and I think that is it so thanks for watching I'll see you guys in the next tutorial goodbye